In class today, we learned two new strategies for finding the derivative. We learned the product rule and the power of a function rule, and both of them are shown on our screen here as a reference. So in green, we have the product rule, and in blue, we have the power of a function rule. So we're going to use those two rules together to do this advanced problem that involves three terms multiplied together instead of only two. So we can use the product rule here, even though our rule only works for two things, by just breaking up our original function into two pieces. So if we consider this being x times all of the rest of it, we can use our product rule. So let's go ahead and start that. Our first step is to determine the derivative of the first function. So in our example, the first function is x. So the derivative of x is just 1 and times that by the second function. So we're just going to write everything out just the way it is. Then we're going to keep going with our product rule. Our product rule then says, all right, add to that the first function. So that was our x. And multiply that by the derivative of the second function. Now the derivative of the second function in this case is going to be quite long. So I'll try and get it if I can get our end bracket there. So inside this big empty bracket, we are going to put the derivative of the entire green part of the original question. So the derivative of just the 2x minus 4 cubed times 3x plus 7 to the power of 5. So we followed the rule. But now inside this green bracket, we're going to have to follow the product rule again. So I'm just going to color code that so we can see we're going to have a red piece multiplied by a black piece. And we're going to use our product rule a second time. So for the second time, we're going to get the derivative of the red piece. In order to do the derivative of the red piece, we need to use our second rule, which was the power of a function rule. So we take the exponent of a 3 and move it to the front. Decrease that exponent by 1. And don't forget, you then have to get the derivative of what's inside the bracket. So the derivative of 2x minus 4 is just 2. So now we've got the derivative of this part. Our rule says to multiply that by the second part. And then add that to the first part, exactly as it is, times the derivative of the second part. So when I say the second part, I'm talking about this part now, derivative of 3x plus 7 to the power of 5. So that's going to look like 5 times 3x plus 7 to the power of 4 times the derivative of 3x plus 7 times 3. So this extremely long answer covers everything. Just to review where everything came from, this 1 came from the derivative of the original x. So we took the derivative of the original x and multiplied it by the entire second part. Then we took the x and multiplied it by the derivative of the entire second part. The derivative of the, that's this part, derivative of the entire second part. The derivative of the entire second part involved using the product rule again. So we took the 2x minus 4 to the power of 3 and got the derivative of that here, multiplied that by the 3x plus 7 to the power of 5. Then we kept the 2x minus 4 to the power of 3 and multiplied it by the derivative of 3x plus 7 to the power of 5 ends up with this really long answer, but all of the pieces are there. So that is how you take a rule that only uses two things and expand it into a rule that uses three things. Just to show that rule formally, and this is not something you should memorize, this is something you should just figure out based on the original question. If you start it off with three functions times one another, you're going to think about it as two pieces. So the derivative is going to look like this. The derivative of the first thing times the second thing plus the first thing times the derivative of the second thing. The second thing is a product rule in itself. So inside that product rule we're going to have to do the derivative of the first thing times the second thing plus the first thing 
times the derivative of the second thing. And this is where it's very important that you have your brackets all in the right places because it will change the answer if you don't put the brackets in. This plus will mess everything up if you forget the brackets. So hopefully that helps. Good luck working on your derivatives.